there are essential elements for plants and there are non-essential elements for plants. Talk to us about the essential elements for plants. Sure. So the common knowledge for most essential nutrients is going to be like your NPK, your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And then you have your slew of micronutrients. The micronutrients, that's uh, that's what we know as essential right now. Things like molybdenum, boron, iron, manganese, you know, the, the main usual suspects. But we're constantly learning about new roles that elements play in plants as we continue to study plants, which is kind of an interesting thing that you asked about non-essential elements. I mean, I can go over the essential elements first here. So like nitrogen, <clears throat> basic building block, that's gonna be for all your amino acids, you know, um, all of the cell structures, things like that. So that's basic building blocks for tissues and chlorophyll. Your phosphorus is gonna be mainly uh, your energy transport, things like it's moving in ATP, it's, it's uh, helping move um, metabolites across membranes, things like that. Potassium is gonna be for your enzyme activation and to move sugars across the plant and for osmotic pressure. So those three things are the most used by the plant, in addition to oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen, of course. But uh, all the micronutrients play other roles in the plant. They're kind of like vitamins in humans, where we need carbs, fat, and protein, but we also need vitamins for all of our other functions. And the micronutrients like uh, calcium, sulfur, magnesium, those all fill that role. And so the micronutrients and the macronutrients would be considered your essential elements. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.